This is just a quick follow-up uh, video explaining that uh, I'm going to be replacing the tank on this compressor. I ordered one. It's very expensive. The price of compressors have pretty much tripled or quadrupled since the last time I bought a new compressor. I mean, of, of a shop compressor. I bought little tiny ones that you use for little nail guns and stuff carpentry work anyway um uh, thanks to a couple of uh, commenters on the last video that uh, warned me of, of tanks blowing up well i never heard of a tank blowing up or at least don't remember hearing of it and uh, i have seen pinholes develop in the bottom of tanks before that you patch them and they they go or if the patch doesn't hold and you know you may end up replacing the tank or whatever but never thought much of it because in my opinion well 175 pounds per square inch is the most you're going to get out of this anyway and i'm thinking well that's only one square inch where the 175 pounds is the rest of the pressure is on the rest of the tank and it's not giving out anywhere and i just figure well if it blows another pinhole so what uh i was wrong and I did some research on YouTube, and I did find uh, several videos of tanks blowing up. Uh, thankfully, it's, it's a rare occasion, but it is not worth the risk. Uh, the, the pictures that I saw were pretty rough. So, um, I mean, I didn't see one of somebody getting hurt, but I did see one video where somebody very easily could have because you saw them in the background. It was like a uh, security camera footage or something and uh the person uh was right near the tank when it blew and i don't know what happened with that video but uh, the person was still moving and walking afterwards but uh i'm sure he got a new respect for compressor tanks and i did too so i ordered a tank twelve hundred dollars which is quite a bit more than what one of these compressors cost the last time I bought a compressor like this. The one in my shop is is considerably larger than this one. 20 some years ago, about 20, 22 years, something like that when I bought it. And it's uh, it was like $900 when I bought it and it's going for like 3,500 now. And one like this is going for around 2,000 now. So anyway, at least a $1,200 tank. Yeah, I'll stick the motor and the pump on it and all this plumbing and stuff. And it'd be a day's work going through all that. It's still cheaper than paying the, that price for a new one. So anyway, that's all this is little video is about. When, I, when that compressor com or that tank comes in and I get to do this, I'll make another video of that and then delete uh, this one and the... Um, in the, in the video I just did. All right, thanks.